I will get fuel anxiety. Good morning guys and welcome back. Yep, my tent is already packed, at least the part. I hung the overcoat, how do you call it, the outer shell, onto the bridge to dry off. Um, yeah, now it's time to get back over the river crossings. We have two of them and we could have even three if we would go over this one as well. But luckily we didn't, so we only have two. That will be fun. My shoes are still wet. Everything is basically still wet. Could dry anything off. Um, yeah, and everything is dusty riding behind these guys. Look. All just absolutely filthy here. <laughs> and this is how I was riding yesterday. So I will clean my stuff now and then think we will go. Uh, yeah. The plan is to hit south today. The first thing I need to do is to get to a fuel station because they don't have any fuel here. But yeah, let's go check out the roads ahead. You said it was nice to meet you guys. Good to meet you too, mate. Yeah, but I think we will yeah, we'll, get you. we'll stop on the way. We'll All right, it's go time, boys and girls. Yes, where's the neutral? There it is. But now it's time to go through the river crossings first and then we are out of here. Yeah, it was a, a pleasant night <laughs> with the three guys here and with my Australian cunts, how I should call them. <laughs> yeah, but now we are out of here. Let's get up to the first river crossing and then we will help each other over it and then we go to the second river crossing and do the same again and then we should be good to get out of here. A lot of campers around here, it's so cool to see all the people just camping in the bush. <laughs> And then this morning, two guys, two younger guys came over and started to fish and they even got some fish. So their breakfast is set, I guess. Mine not so much, because I have only bread and a jar of Nutella with me. But I'm not too keen to munch on that, so I think we'll try that later. All right, river crossing number one. Ah, oh, turn left, shut up. Ready? <laughs> Let's waddle through this thing here. Oh boy. Don't get stuck. Put some plastic bags basically in my shoes to not get too wet feet here just to keep them dry as much as I can. All right. Easy peasy. Ah, look, the pros at work. <laughs> that was the easier of the two river crossings. The second one is a little bit gnarly because you are start on a decline with some loose stuff and then you basically have to go through the river directly so oh there is a doggo
all right now it's our turn um, the question is should I use the same lane as these guys or not so much because this part was rather steep here and deep Ugh. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Got a little bit wet here, but uh, all good. All good. All good. So we should be set for now. And now let's get out of here. This is now the easier part. Just collecting dust again. Getting out of here and then I need to find a spot in the sun I wanted to say and there it is. Just dry off for a little bit and then we are out of here. Oh, that is where the fun begins. This one is steep and loose. And we made it as well, guys. And we are almost in the village. Mm, do I need anything? Mm -mm -mm. No, I'm good. All right, 15 degrees, quite chilly still, but it's all good, all good, all good. My feet are just cold now, but I think they are not wet. I hope at least they're not. But now let's get out of this mess here. <clears throat> and then I have to fuel up somewhere and I think I will check the next stretch and fill up my jerry cans even though it's four kilo additional weight but ah, I think it will help to at least ease my nerves <laughs> in situations like that where you have no idea where the next fuel station is These corrugations are the worst. I hate washboards. That is my turn here. <laughs> I'm heading this way. And the other guys heading back to Melbourne. So let's go. Explore some new roads here. It should all be dirt here, so ah, narrow winding road. Yes, yes, that's fine with me. <laughs> all right, we take it easy on the gas here. Um, oh, bunny and all the wildlife, I guess. That is easy on the fuel consumption here, that's good. Just heading down into the valley. I hope I don't have to go up again and then we should be set. Otherwise I will get some, uh, how they call it, fuel anxiety. Mm -hmm. I think that's the right word here. We are high up here, eh? How high are we? Uh, where is it? 1124 meters. Good one. Alright. Slowly making my way down here. 
into the next whatever um, yeah I put the next bigger city in I will not pronounce the name because I will butcher it anyway I will put it here for you guys to read <laughs> can butcher by yourself so it's basically 96 kilometers and almost two hours to go and I'm quite sure a big part of it will be tracks like this one so I'm not even convinced that I will make it in two hours I think it might will take me a little bit longer but if we are lucky enough then there should be I think one or two villages um, that we are passing by so maybe they have like a little general store or whatever to grab a bite to eat if not then it will be bread and nutella mm, yes I oh, love it not so cool out here because there is nobody just me all right I made it onto a little bit of a faster track the road is opening up just a little bit here so I take my chance and go a little bit faster Whoa even though there are some big rocks here and there sticking out of the road but other than that is easy going the road is basically pretty good maintained I would say not too bad at all so just cruising along here making my way up and down the hills still about one hour and 20 minutes to go do all this stuff but I think it will take longer it's like I'm easy slower than the calculation speed of the satnav right That is fun, eh? Oh yes, there are still clouds. Eberfeldy, please slow down. No worries. Wow, that looks super nice. Oh, I need to stop somewhere. Not here, not here, but somewhere closer down. Valhalla Road, we are going this way. Let's see where we can stop here on the way somewhere. So I can get the drone out, because this looks absolutely beautiful with the clouds in the valley.
potholes getting deep here. Better don't miss them. Fifteen kilometers towards what? There's the lake we just saw with the drone. This is also a fresh water reserve here. That is so tempting. You guys can't believe. <laughs> uh, where's the travel body if you need one? This looks absolutely stunning. May I say, wow! <laughs> All right, eyes back on the road, let's go. I'm getting hungry, and then I'm getting hangry, and then I'm getting angry, and then I'm getting food, and then everything is fine again. Guys, we found a car. What is going on here? <laughs> That's the first car since I hit the Valhalla Road. So basically for more than an hour now, I was by myself. Except for the houses and everything, but not on the road here. So I guess we are eating dust again. It's like that we are back on the tarmac. Now I miss this potholes here. They are so bad. This guy needs some air in his tires. They were pretty flat. All right, let's see what the next couple of kilometers hold on for us. As you might see the clouds are caving in just a little bit. Um, there should be no rain, but who knows, right? I need to rinse down the bike. <laughs> this thing looked the worst. <laughs> Just everything covered in dust. Boy, oh boy. Alright, we made it onto the dam here. Holy moly. That thing is massive. <laughs> and there's like this tiny river. This is the Thompson Dam, and down there is the Thompson River. There is a fun track leading down, but uh, not with my few left. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, the second part here. Oh, wow. That is a huge ramp. Uh, I don't want to go down there. this more twisties and more twisties <laughs> I think I chose the right tracks here it's so good absolutely nice what tractor that's the first that I see in uh, thousands and thousands of kilometers. <laughs> so mystical. Tree caps disappearing in the clouds. Awesome. 
station uh, but they of course are out of order station Yoo-hoo. I hope they have something good to eat uh, okay let's turn around diesel no unlead unlead premium there is the good stuff this one this one heading to towards um, the east coast basically general direction uh, my meeting up with Carl again he's only 20 minutes away so and he's heading the same direction as I do today so that's a bonus all right we arrived at Willow Park let's see where he is ah I can see his motorcycle. There he is. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah. And off we go. What's up? Nach Öl. Ja, müsst ihr eine Tanke geben. Wenn du weißt welches. Alright, off we go. So the next stop is the fuel station. Um, I'll want to pull up how needs to fill up his bike. Then I think we will get some lunch somewhere. And then we are heading towards Lake Entrance, I think it's called. All right, guys. Uh oh, the battery is almost dead. So we are figured out where to get oil for his bike it's not that easy to get just a liter basically so we are now heading to the next super cheap auto in Barnsdale or something like that I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it but I'm sure I butchered it <laughs> that one is for sure like always so this is where we're heading now it's uh, 52 minutes an hour and now it's already 9 past 3 o'clock so that means we will be there around 4 and then I think we will check out place to stay tonight we made it into the city that I already forgot the name but look there's Waiyung <laughs> somehow we ended up in China or some Asian country 
So it's time to shop and then we are heading off to a free camping ground that is with a barbecue spot. So we are going to shop now at Aldi's and then we are off to the camping ground. It's only 20 minutes so should be fine. And we are here somewhere at the end of the road I guess. Uh, now we have a problem, no camping. Shit, that is not good. That is absolutely not good. Oh, right. I think we're gonna eat here and then we head off. Right, let's check out this place, but I'm quite sure we are not camping here. Alright guys, I hope you even can see anything, but you should hear me at least. Um, yeah, we finished here our dinner time and now heading to a cheap bed and breakfast I found here for only 60 euros. So it's like 90 or something Australian. Um, yeah, it's just a 10 minute ride or 9 left now. so. I'm just heading there and then I will get you guys for a quick little room tour because there should be not much to see. All right, quick room tour as we arrived at our bed and breakfast. So this is basically it. Just two beds and a lot of rubbish. Bathroom and toilet is outside and yeah, we already took a shower and now it's time to go Stargazing for a little bit and then we call it a day. So I see you guys tomorrow on the roads ahead